Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm and I'm going to spend just a few minutes talking about Syslog. Syslog, that little guy who nobody wants to hang out with it anymore for some reason or another. So Syslog, you've got it on everything from your printers to your Microsoft operating systems to network devices, UPSs, most everything supports Syslog. And all you have to do is point it to a Syslog server. And a Syslog server is simply a device running syslog server software. So it could be a laptop, desktop, it could really be a server if you want. And of course there are a bunch of appliances out there that do the same thing. So what's the point of this? Well if you have all these devices sending syslog events to one central point, now you have a central logging interface. That way you don't have to log into a bunch of individual devices just to do a, for example, on Cisco show log, that kind of thing. It's all right here on the screen. And depending on the level of syslog, you could get pretty detailed or fairly generic messages. So here's a syslog uh, screenshot from SolarWinds Orion. I've blurred out the IPs to protect the innocence. It's a real screenshot from a real system. And you can see that it says things like line, protocol, gig, interface, 114, up and then 114 down, and 114 up, down, up, down. And this is happening very, very frequently, probably once a second. So obviously that interface is flaking out. Uh, it could be cabling, it could be dirty fiber, it could be configuration, who knows? The point is, now you know there's something going on, so you go fix it, that kind of thing. Now, as far as syslog uh, server software goes, this is a fairly, I'm gonna say, enterprise type solution. There's other ones out there like Syslog Watcher, which you can go get. Uh, it's uh, free for personal use. They've got relatively, I'm going to say, inexpensive solutions for businesses. And you basically put this on any old computer. Please make sure your firewall allows Syslog to come in. And if you don't know what that is, just look up Syslog port number or just even capture it in Wireshark, that kind of thing. And then you'll make sure that you can actually collect the Syslog events. In this case, this guy has a collect button. So every single solution is slightly different. Just make sure you pay attention to whatever specific one you look for. Good old Solar Winds also has something called Kiwi, and Kiwi's in their free server and tools section. Okay, so solarwinds.com/free-tools, Kiwi, blah 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 blah. So right from the URL there, you'll see the screen. You get a little video, and it'll do the same thing that that previous screenshot showed you as well. Now, the only thing that you're going to notice is when you go from vendor to vendor, software to software, and from free to paid, you're going to notice a few things. Number one, these events, they're going to be interpreted a lot more, I'm going to say, precisely, straightforward. Uh, if you get some of the freebie stuff and they don't understand the syslog message being sent, it just looks like a bunch of gibberish. You're going to have to look up what they mean, that kind of thing. So that's, that's one big thing. The other one is the commercial products will also let you do email alerts. Um, that sort of thing. So if you're looking for a specific device, a specific event, and you want to get an email when that happens, then those solutions can do that for you as well. So just a little example, if you got a Cisco router, you want to enable Syslog. It's, it's quite simple. You just go into the, uh, the router, enable uh, Syslog by typing logging on, and then just logging in the IP address of that destination server. This is the tricky part. You need to know, understand, decide, however you want to say it, what trap level of syslogging you want. And there's obviously debug is, is very, I'm going to say, detailed. So you don't want to do that a lot if you don't have to. Uh, most of the time, people just want um, informational. That's kind of where they start. And then if you want something specific, then you kind of go down the line with whatever level that you're interested in. Every vendor does this different. So just take a few minutes to find out if you are interested in syslog, set it up on a PC or a server, and I would strongly encourage you to simulate some of your most common errors or events that you want syslog to capture, like an interface going up and down, or spanning tree flaking out, that kind of stuff, and then you'll know what level of logging that you need. There you go, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.